Hey guys and welcome to a new vlog with me, your host, Grackle. And I'm so excited because I, first of all, I love shopping. Uh, what I've done is I've asked on Instagram for some cool independent stores because we should really be trying to support the independents right now. I mean, support a lot of people, really, because it's a really tough time. But in particular, I know quite a few people who have just started companies or businesses right before lockdown and it genuinely breaks my heart because they're having to like consider just shutting up shop completely, which breaks my heart. So I've asked on Instagram for your favourite independent stores, Grace Fees 97 if you want. And we're gonna buy, I want to buy a top, like a jump or something, because we all know I love that. And I've really been wanting some new ones. A jewellery item, a lifestyle item, so something like a candle or bath product. And maybe we'll, we'll chuck like three food items, because let's be real, food's my fault today, you know what I mean? Maybe a chocolate bar, because I know there are so many cool, unique chocolate bar brands out there. Please support them, you know? A drink. Oh, I could really, I could really go to town on this video, to be honest. And we're gonna start. I've also been googling like best independent uh, shops and stuff. I love to shop around. Whenever I'm about to buy something, I literally, I look at the reviews for hours and hours. This company's really cool. It's called Iggy Box, and it is a candle delivery service. You can either get a little one or a big one. The only thing is, I feel like I'm not gonna be able to get through that many candles. But it is really, really cool. I just found one and I, I genuinely, I'm really close to buy it because I love it. But I think it's just a, a tad out of my price range. It's called, they're called Woolly Mammoth Knits. So if you are on the more wealthy end of the spectrum, look how I'll put, I'll actually insert the pictures. They are the, so me, but they're a little bit on my budget. But I totally get it because it's, handmade and i wouldn't like question it when things like that are handmade um so i highly recommend because they look absolutely stunning they have other things as well but those jumpers are a little bit of me to be fair quite a lot of these companies that i'm coming across have a lot of things out of stock which is a good sign hopefully see cow chocolate right here out of stock how incredible does that look um, so i'm guessing that maybe people were trying to make more of an effort again these nut uh buttercups sold out as well again this really cool company called community clothing they have really nice like knitwear and pieces like that um but everything says unavailable you're joking me again this really cool jumper doesn't come in my size uh but ow grace is that a little bit quirky it's baby blue it's got a cat on it it's a knitted jumper hey guys so all of my packages have come this feels so fun doing a haul because Whenever my friends make a little purchase, I'm always like, please send me a haul. It just feels like we're friends, you know? I'm just showing to my friends everything I've bought. I love it. And I, I love watching hauls, but I feel like no one really does hauls anymore. I don't know, maybe they do. Maybe I just don't watch that type of YouTuber. Anyway, so I actually have put on one of my favourite independent stores in the world. We are 100 Club. Honestly, they're, I know I, I did get gifted this, but A... They're all done by this wonderful gal called Gabby. And um, B, there's only a hundred of every design made. So it's a bit more unique than anything. And they're such good quality. So comfy. I've washed this so many times. You wouldn't even know. Still white as well. My clothes never stay white. So little shout out to Gabby from We Are 100 Club. I will link them down below. Please check them out. She's just actually launched a few of her new clothes. So go check it out. She designs more herself. I love her. I'm actually just gonna shut the window, BRB. Okay, so continuing onwards with clothes, I have opened everything, but I haven't actually looked inside any of the packages. So the first one we have right here is from Carewares. And this was recommended by one of you guys on Instagram. <gasps> I'm obsessed with it. This is so cool, okay. So it's this pink t-shirt. It says oat milk on the front. And it says oat milk in loads of different fonts on the back. And it is a vegan organic fair trade top. And I just think it's a really cute little t-shirt for the summer vibrations. And it's comfy. And I love a comfy t-shirt. I think this is really, really cool. I love the pink and blue together. So that is our first purchase. It is so soft, thick, good quality. I love the quality. Fantastic. Approve of our first purchase. Up next, we have got another clothing item, which is from, again, recommended by you guys. 
This is what it looks like. This is from Sugar and Style. So they, I think, are more of like a concessions independent. So they buy in clothes, which I didn't actually realise. So these are some little black corduroy shorts. I just thought they were really good for summer because you know what? You know, sometimes you just want a black pair of shorts and I don't have any and they've got pockets. And for me, if a short has pockets, I am sold. That You don't need to say anymore. If your short has pockets, if anything has pockets, I am there. I don't know if you can tell, it's like corduroy. So they're very nice. Again, feels very thick, good quality. I'm impressed, happy with those. Up next, we have from Mill Seisu is an independent business and I believe she makes everything from scratch. I'm not 100% sure there, but she is an ex fashion student and she makes all these silk items. They had some bows, which I kind of think I might need to purchase. I bought this silk little scrunchie and I have tested it because before I put this in the video, I wanted to make sure that I actually liked it. Let me tell you, it holds my hair so well my hair falls out so easily i'll go on like a walk my hair's falling out this holds it it's really really strong good elastic and apparently because it's silk it means it doesn't damage your hair as much and it looks cute on your wrist as well it's not like a gross little hairband it's like this little silk dainty thing i love this highly highly recommend that's the accessories i did want to find a nice pair of like thick silver hoops that aren't too big kind of like this size but i was so overwhelmed by independent jewelers there are so many out there um and i didn't really know where to even begin so if you have any good recommendations of like nice places to get hoops that are from like small businesses or independents please please tell me because i really wanted to get some so now we move on to like a homey lifestyle bit and this is from a company called scent evil i think it is this is a bit of a bigger kind of store um but it's still they hand make everything so their candles are hand poured using traditional methods and sustainable energy on their farm in north cornwall and we all know i love cornwall so i'll do anything to support the cornish to be honest with you basically one of my all-time favorite candles is this one right here and it is sea salt and it's run oh my gosh it smells so good and it's running low so i wanted to find another sea salt candle i just love the beach so much and i can't wait to go on holiday and be by beach no i actually can't i'm gonna get emotional talking about it i love the beach and the sea and the sand and even pebbles you know and this one came the next day so highly recommend okay this is what it looks like very lovely very simple can you just focus Burn time, 45 hours. Oh my word. There's nothing like the scent of sea salt. I love it like clean cotton or sea salt. Oh my gosh, I love that. And I think it's really cute. And I feel like it would go in a lot of areas and rooms because it's just very simple. And if you want, I think you can. Oh, you can easily take the label off if you just want the silver tin. Now, what would a haul be without some food bits? You guessed it right. And this is very, very easy to find independent food places. And I actually could have bought a lot, a lot, a lot of things. And even just taking a look on a company like Vegan Kind, the Vegan Kind supermarket, there were so many things that I wanted to get. But then I thought, you know what? We've got to stay restricted. I did buy three food bits. The first one's Noodle Company, and this is No Nonsense Noodles, basically. Let's just take you off, shall we? This is like a full on, I'm in Tesco's looking for some noodles. How fantastic is that? It's like I'm a, my own supermarket. I w I'm gonna put his links down below, as I said, because I would really urge you to read his story. It's very, very interesting. And this is what they have all different types of flavors and they're basically pot noodles. So this one is warrior fighting shrimp, coconut chicken lasca, chi Tai Chi chicken, Zen garden vegetables, dragon fire vegetables, Hong Kong street beef. So I'll do a taste test. The beef had real life chunks of beef in it. They basically dehydrate all their vegetables and the meat and stuff, so it makes it really, really flavorful. I recommend. Absolutely no nasties. It's literally pure ingredients. Really good ingredients. Doesn't look like anything weird. Now, I'm also gonna insert a clip now 
of one of the best experiences of my life. I bought these cookies from a company called Vida Bakery who have actually seen a lot on social media. And one of you guys recommended them because you said they were run by this really lovely woman who they've like met in the store quite a few times. So I ordered some vegan gluten-free cookies and here's the clip of that. I'll just show you what this one was like because I just want to eat it now. Um, so this is what it's come like, which is very interesting for cookies. I want to see, I feel like a child at Christmas. <laughs> extra vegan sweets pomegranate flavor break them open not yet i was sneaking a little bit of and here we Too have the honey. cookies oh, let's see what's going on wow they look cute Ooh, nicely packaged 100 percent biodegradable as well packaging oh. <laughs> these are gluten-free and vegan here we go i'll Try take you through a tasting test on them you need to, need to check. You. Okay, so we have got peanut and white chocolate. We have got oatmeal and raisin, which looks actually, this looks incredible. This looks like one of those American oat and raisin ones. We've got double chocolate. We have pecan and caramel. Which I, that one, pecan and caramel. This one is just chocolate cookie, chocolate chip. And that is the special. Ooh. What one does everyone want? Well, that's good. The pecan one sounds nice. You want pecan and caramel? And what else? You got chocolate chip, white chocolate. Right. What are we thinking? Really strong flavour. Mm. Taste the pecan, taste the caramel. Texture, because it's gluten free. Oh, crunchy on the outside. It's not a chewy cookie, it's a soft crumbly, isn't it? Yeah. But it's still it's really good. good. Yeah. The flavour is exceptional. Mum, mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie, you would love. You would love. I'm really impressed with yeah, them. That one. Although I will, again, not gonna lie, uh, it did take five days for them to come and they didn't give me a dispatch, but that's the only drawback, but I've gotta be honest, so. I just have dads and I actually prefer dads. It's, the texture is more chewy and, what's that, buttery? That is, wow, their flavors are impeccable. Buy the bakery if you need a baker to come work for you. <laughs> Chicken. And then the last thing we have right here is from Land Chocolate. Now, I actually, this name is really familiar and one of you guys recommended it, but also I think we worked with them at uni. So Land produced award-winning bean to bar chocolate in the heart of Bethnal Green from his workshop. Um, and I think they're all like sustainably, ethically made chocolate basically. And they have loads of different ones. But this is a new launch, which I thought sounded so interesting. This is dairy-free oat milk chocolate. And also this packaging, into it. I am such a sucker for packaging. Also this foil, it just feels like really lovely and old school. I don't know why this feels so magical opening up. Look at, stop that. That is so beautiful. That is exquisite. That is sensational. It tastes like dark chocolate, but not that horrible bitter stuff that you can get. This tastes like, oh, that flavor is so, the depth of that flavor. I'm actually salivating, I'm getting that thing that you get when you think of salt and vinegar crisps. Really good. Hot, raw. And also just the packaging. That would be a really nice special gift for someone. You know when it's just like, obviously you're not going to get that every day of your life. Well you might do if you're a little bit, if you're minted. But, a nice little special gift for someone. You could just send them a nice fancy bar of chocolate. And have, they can have like a pamper evening. It would be a really, really lovely gift actually. I did quickly just want to talk about three quick more companies. Which I have bought things from in the past. That independence, but... I didn't buy them this time around because I already had the stuff. So one is the company that I got sent the most when I asked on Instagram. And it is Lucy and Yak. I have these, I think they're like the cotton twill high-waisted trousers. I wear them all the time. They are such good quality, so thick, sustainable, ethical, really, really cool brand. Um, and their dungarees are lovely. But I've never bought them and I don't know why I've never bought them. I think I, that might be a purchase that needs to happen to be honest with you. I also want to talk about Bird and Blend, which are an independent food, uh, independent drink company, and they do really lovely teas. And I'm not even that much of a fruit tea kind of gal, but I they have this cold brew tea, brew in the fridge, and they make the best iced tea. Honestly, if you're not a fruit tea fan, 
you will still probably like this. Highly recommend Burn and Blend. Really, really lovely company. I think I have a discount code for them down below. I'll try and put it down below, but I don't know if it works anymore. Another company is the Conscious Candy Company, which we, you've probably seen if you watch my vlogs. They do the best pick and mix ever. Again, vegan, really, really lovely. And that, I think, concludes this little haul. I've really had a good time. It's like I'm just chatting to my friends. If you have any recommendations of small businesses, independent businesses, cool, sustainable, ethical companies, let me know down below because I've really enjoyed this and maybe I could do another one. And please check out any of the places that I've spoken about because I've loved everything that I've received. Would highly recommend everything, especially this crunchy. I'm obsessed with this. Oh, absolutely love 